One day in the wild, wild west, an old prospector stepped off a dusty street and into a smoke-filled saloon. He saw in the back of the room a poker table with a bunch of men gathered around, so he made his way to the back and he sat down in the only empty chair. He started to play poker. A few minutes later, he looks down at his cards and he's holding a fantastic hand. Uh, full house, kings over nines. So he bets heavy. And at the end of the hand is just him and this cowboy sitting across the table. He turns over his full house, fully expecting to win. And the cowboy looks and he says, That's a fine hand. Unfortunately, that's a loser. I've got two hots, two clubs, and the ace of spades. <laughs> I've got an unbeatable hand. <laughs> what? That doesn't beat anything. Oh yeah, friend. You see, in this here game, two hearts, two clubs, and the ace of spades is the Lollapalooza hand. And the Lollapalooza <laughs> hand beats all hands. Right about then, everybody around the table pipes up. Yep, Lollapalooza hand. Can't be beat. Can't be beat. Lollapalooza hand. Unbeatable. Now, our prospector knew that he was getting cheated, but there wasn't much he could do about it. So, he still had a little bit of money left, and he continues playing. A few minutes later, he looks down, and what does he see? That's right. Two clubs. Two hearts. <laughs> the ace of spades. <laughs> it's the Lollapalooza hand. It's the unbeatable hand. So he bets everything he's got. That same cowboy is still in it, into the hand. And at the end of the hand, that cowboy turns over a measly pair of threes. Our friend turns over the Lollapalooza hand and starts to reach for the pot when the cowboy stops him. Hold on there, friend. I'm afraid you do have the Lollapalooza hand, but my pair of threes wins. Huh? How's that possible? Well, you see, friend, you might want to learn the rules of the game you're playing in before you sit down and start to play. You see here in this game, there's only one Lollapalooza hand allowed per night. 